Hi everyone, welcome to Raw Online Teaching Program. Uh, so today's class is going to be about the standard treatment guidelines given by the Indian Academy of Pediatrics on the topic neonatal hypothermia. So basically, what is a thermoregulation? It is the ability of the body to maintain the balance between the heat production and the heat loss to sustain the body temperature in a normal range. So that is called thermoregulation. When this thermoregulation is disturbed or somewhere it is altered between the heat production and the heat loss, then it may result in either hypothermia or hypothermia. So in newborn, this hypothermia is very frequently we are facing this complication. So the neonatal hypothermia, it may have a serious metabolic consequences on the newborns, for all the newborns. So to minimize these effects, actually we have to provide an environment to the baby, that is a newborn baby, that is that environmental temperature should have minimal rate of oxygen consumption and the expenditure of the energy, that is least energy should be exp expenditure to maintain the body temperature. So this environment is called as a thermoneutral environment. So if there is any breach in this thermoneutral environment, then there is a incidence of neonatal hypothermia. So coming to the definition of neonatal hypothermia. So according to the WHO organization, it defines the neonatal hypothermia as the axillary temperature below 36.5 degree centigrade or 97.7 degree Fahrenheit among the newborns who are aged below 28 days that is less than one month old. So when the temperature goes below 36.5 degree centigrade then it is considered to be neonatal hypothermia. So the normal axillary temperature is between 36.5 degree to 37.5 degree centigrade. So this hypothermia itself we can divide into three stages that is mild moderate and severe. So if you see, mild, moderate degree of hypothermia and severe hypothermia. So mild hypothermia, the temperature is between 36 degree centigrade to 36.4 degree centigrade. So when the temperature comes below 36.5 till 36, it is mild. So when it is moderate, when it is between 32 to 32 degree to 35.9 degree centigrade. So it is moderate hypothermia. When the core body temperature goes below 32 degree centigrade, then there is a severe hypothermia. So this is the classification and the definition of neonatal hypothermia. So moving on to the risk factors. So what are all the risk factors? by which the neonates are more prone for the lower body temperature. First and foremost is the prematurity. So invariably all the preterm babies because of their higher body surface ratio, they have more chances of uh, heat loss. So they are more prone to hypothermia. Also the same uh, in low birth weight or IUGR that is intrauterine growth restricted babies and in case of uh, asphyxia or any congenital defects like abdominal wall defects, in all these conditions, there is high chance of heat loss rather than the heat production. So there will be neonatal hypothermia incidence is more among these babies. So next is the low delivery room temperature. Maybe the room temperature might have been not warm enough. It will be like moist or drought. So that the room temperature itself is in a uh, bad position. So that low delivery room temperature may also prone for neonatal hypothermia. And sometimes the poor understanding of the healthcare providers regarding this thermoregulation, what happens? They may not dry the neonate during the post delivery. Instead, they may receive the newborn with a wet cloth that is a damp cloth or sometimes they may very vigorously remove all the vernix eicosa. Actually, the presence of vernix eicosa basically maintains the body temperature. So forcefully removing all those things or giving bath to the baby immediately after the birth. So these are all the things about the poor understanding of the thermoregulation and they may delay the initiation of the breastfeeding. So delayed skin to skin contact by the mother. So all these are the risk factors for the neonatal hypothermia, especially in the developing countries. And at the same time, 
neonatal transport almost always done poor condition not in a proper incubator warmed incubator so that may also prone for the neonatal hypothermia and uh, in procedures such as like surgery placement of umbilical lines or radiological investigation so all these procedures again there is increased metabolic rate and there was increased energy loss that may result in the neonatal hypothermia so coming to the prevalence so how far this neonatal hypothermia incidence is there so if you see now overall nelson says it is between 8 to 92 percent so 8 to 92 percent of all the deliveries of all the deliveries among like almost 8 to 92 percent all the babies are prone to develop the hypothermia particularly in developing countries like india the incidence is higher that is 32 to 85 percent that too in high risk which i discussed in the previous slide with the high risk babies the incidence is almost 32 to 85 percent so this is the prevalence of neonatal hypothermia in the developing countries